honey. Are you cooking breakfast? Honey, are you doing the dishes? Timothy, are you scrubbing the stove listening to Mariah Carey? Okay, Tim, what's up? What's going on? Today I've got a great video for you. Are you sure you've seen some of my antics this morning? Uh, so first of all, I want to say thank you to my wife for putting up with me. Uh, there were no uh, males injured in the cleaning event. Uh, they, I cleaned just fine and I didn't get hurt, so we're good to go there. Um, I really did clean, so there's, there's, there's that. But the force came in and I'm really, really excited to go ahead and open it. Um, I did not get a chance to go to World Cup this year. So I have not seen this marker in person. I have just been seeing it uh, on the internet through some of my friends that have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. So here's the box. Use my handy dandy box opener there. Now let's get this thing open. So I think it's a really good coincidence that they uh, put out the force the same, uh, but it's a month before the new Star Wars movie comes out, which I'm super, super excited. As you can see, I got the Knights of Ren. Got my shirt on. So, there is the box. There's the force right there. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this off to the side. The rest of the stuff that I don't need. And look at that. So uh, one thing I'm super proud of right here, it says made in the US. That is something a lot of companies don't do anymore. Um, that was one thing that I really liked about Bob Long products is that they um, were all made here in the States. So Bob Long had a, 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 led, a legacy of doing that. And I'm really glad that for, uh, Force, uh, Field One did the same thing. So here it is, it's the Field One Force. Um, box, pretty solid. There it is. Got all the little pieces and everything it comes with. So there's all the technologies in there. I like that they got that right on the side. So let's get into it. Let's open this bad boy up. All right. Um, I also collect the boxes. I kept my uh, Dark Intimidator box. I kept my um, my vice box. I've got all kinds of boxes. Okay, so if y'all can see, and I know some videos are out there already, comes with a patch. 
So nice little patch says Field One Force. That's a cool little idea. I like that I got that with it. Um, I've never gotten a, a patch with anything else. So the box, I'm quite impressed with the box. I love the graphics of it. Um, got Field One all over the place. Um, got a nice big splat on the center. Got the Amish paintball. So box is a really, really solid box. I like it. And here is the, the case. So, big fan of the colors that they chose. Um, black and the, the kind of tealish color is always a good combination. So let's go ahead and set the box off to the side and let's get into the actual marker. I, oh, I'm so excited. Like I said, I, I did not get to see this at World Cup. I was a week too late to get there in Florida. Um, work took me to Phoenix instead, but it's here. I've got it in my hands. I've waited. I uh, remember listening to the very first uh, calls about this, and uh, not so much calls, but the videos, and they were telling us uh, all the things that um, were going to happen with it. So, all right, let's get her open. Let's see what is going on in the inside here. I like that it's a little durable. It's a little hard case up top, too. Okay. So here we go. So we've got uh, Field One Barrel Cover. Nice, like that. So in the first uh, kind of the pre-order ones, they were including the battery. Um, they said if you did not pre-order this, um, you could get them later on. It's about uh, 60 bucks for those guys. So uh, at least that was DirtyWorks.com had them on there. So two batteries comes with the pre-order, sweet. Uh, Field One Tech Card, so Yo Roush there, or Yo Shrao, my bad, my bad. Um, shows me I've got number 41, serial number 41. It was shooting 280, 285 of the Chrono, and they chronoed it 12, 6 of 19. So this gun was only um, put through its paces just a couple weeks ago. So very, very cool. Um, also, got a Yosh Rao uh, playing card. So some, some teams that he played on, A-Team, Lofty, Cap, Iron Kids, uh, LA Ironman, Joy Division, Dynasty, Arsenal, uh, all kinds. He's been uh, basically a pro player for 18 years. He's a back player. So very, very cool. They've never gotten that in a, uh, in a marker before. Got a shoulder strap. And then let's get into the goodies and then I'm gonna take a look at the gun. I'm gonna wait for the gun at the very end. All right, so got some Pro Lube there. I'm really excited to try that out. Um, I wanna see how it's a little bit different than Dow 55, if it's, uh, you know, uh, how it's different basically. We have a parts kit. Do you love the parts kit like this? It makes it super easy, keeps it all together. They keep, get a little booklet inside Tells you what the O-ring sizes are, so you never have to guess uh, which screws are the right screws for what. I really, really like that. And of course, got a sticker. Uh, I've got plenty of those. I've ordered all kinds of parts from Field One for uh, the G6Rs. So, um, kind of keep everything separated. Get, they do include an extra uh, uh, is over here, right there, an extra valve uh, seat. So that's cool. Like that. Uh, what I thought was interesting um, was all the start guides. So that way you don't have to dig through a manual to say, hey, how do I clean my regulator? It's all right there. How do I pull the batteries out? Engine, feed neck, all the, all the good stuff, all in simple cards. Um, they're laminated, so if they get wet, not a big deal, wipe them off. That's a really kind of cool piece I like. And if you want more technical data, it's right on YouTube. So good to go there. All right. Over here, we still have the barrel. So I'm gonna pull the barrel pieces out here. I also ordered the same barrel to go with my uh, free flow autococker. So I can't wait to get that here in the next couple weeks. Um, that feels pretty solid and it's, it's be very excited to see what it's shooting as. Okay, without the barrel tip, 
obviously moves in and out so we can slide it out and in. And then you put the tip on. All right, that's not going anywhere. That's not gonna move. Uh, so one thing I like to do, the freak inserts, the freak inserts have ability to move back and forth a little bit. Uh, this thing, I mean, it won't move at all. So that means you're getting a very consistent yeah. shot. Are those two pieces already done yet? No, one in for two no. more minutes. Yep, and we're cooking, we're cooking cookies here in our house. So got to make sure that they're all going in and, and uh, getting cooked right. Obviously, you saw in the video. It's very, very tempting to eat all the cookies in front of me. So, so there's the barrel. And now here's the time. I said I've not seen this gun yet. I haven't even opened it. This is my true, true expression of what I'm seeing. Um, I didn't pre-open it. Obviously, I kept it in the box. You guys saw me take it off my porch the whole nine yards. It is right here. Yes. Drum roll, please. Oh. Okay. There is... There is a, oh, you know, it's funny. They said this mark was a bit heavy. That, man, that thing feels solid. So there's some guns out there um, that are almost too light for me. I don't like how they feel. And this gun, it's got a little bit of weight to it. I mean, what's funny is you notice, you, it's kind of noticeable, so it's got a little bit of weight. Um, but I don't mind that. I actually like the tactical G6R versus the standard G6R for that extra little bit of weight. Um, it just felt like I could control it better. Man. Okay. I'm, I'm impressed. This thing looks amazing. The finish on it is fantastic. So, my goodness. All right, let's get the barrel on there. Let's see how it looks all together. Trigger is nice and snappy. Um, this is obviously the similar frame to the um, the Mark Generation Two, so um, that makes sense. This is very familiar. Got the on-off ASA here, cam drive. Um, I'm a big fan of that cam drive ASA. I think it's fantastic. Um, just wow. That's all I can say is wow. So, okay, let's take a look at the Nucleus engine real quick. There we go. All right. So there is the Nucleus engine. I like that it says Nucleus right on there. Gives it a little... Very much like an onslaught. Uh, I know that there's obviously quite a few different parts on there, but and it's, it acts differently. But for the most part, it looks looks good. I like it. Back cap very similar to what we do already today with the the uh, Mark engines. So that's gonna feel very familiar in the field. All right, out of the box, just, it's beautiful. Let's turn it on. Okay, on here, I know you guys are gonna have a hard time seeing it. Maybe I'll get it from here. I do like the new eye, eyes showing. So basically it shows upper eye, lower eye. So at that point, lets me know um, that the eyes are working. No bolt movement gives me an error. So hold up. I don't think it's any way 
actually shown this before, but nice. Okay, so if you guys can pick that up, it's got laser eyes and it's got a blue laser eye. I like that. A lot of times you see red laser eyes and, and some other things, but I think the blue works. Very cool. All right. So here's the deal. Um, I've got two markers to kind of test it up against. Um, that is going to be a CS2 and then also my um, Mark Reptile. So I've got a spool engine and I've got the poppet engine for the um, the reptile. So we'll kind of put both in, see just how it shoots versus this one. But man, that looks sweet. So now here's the next stage. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna take this, um, I'm gonna shoot it for probably a couple weeks and then um, take it over to my buddy Marcus and we're gonna throw some different ammo on there just so it's a little bit different than one came from the factory. Uh, Marcus actually has been working with these a little bit here and there, so he's very familiar with them. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. This gun is solid. See the profile. And I know a lot of people didn't like the grip frame. They thought it was maybe gonna be a little too skinny. It's gonna change the way I shoot a little bit because I'm usually I usually wrap the whole regulator, but this one doesn't allow me to wrap the whole thing. It gives me a nice comfortable grip to it. Oh man. Alright. So there it is. There is the Field One Force. Is that your new toy, Tim? No. Is this is why you've been doing all of the chores, Tim? Maybe. Is this why you made breakfast, Tim? Are you gonna make lunch too? Don't go too far. <laughs> All right, so uh, as always, if you can, like the video, take a look at it. Uh, if there's any questions you have about it, um, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Uh, tell me if you like it, if you don't. Um, I'm looking at a slime green, um, slime green uh, finish on, on with the with the black, do some accents. You guys let me know if that, that'll look good or not. Um, I think it will, so we're gonna go with it. And uh, when I get it back from Anno, um, well, I'll show you the finished product. But hopefully I can get this out in the field um, next weekend and and just put it through its paces and see what it does. I really, really can't wait to, get, wait to shoot this thing. It's been two years in the making and I have followed it since day one and has far exceeded my expectations. So that's the unboxing. Um, I'll go through it. Um, once I go to clean it the first time, we'll go and lube it, do the whole nine yards. And I said, then we'll put it up against the CS2 and then we'll also put it up against that reptile. And I mean, I've got a G6R here. If you wanna put it up against the G6R, let me know. Uh, it really doesn't kind of compare to those ones. It's more like CS2 and the reptile. So cool. There it is, Field One Force. Love it. This thing's beautiful. So, until next time, guys, thank you so much, and uh, go ahead and play some paintball. All right, so first of all, I want to say thank you for checking out my videos on all the markers and all the things that I do here on my channel. Uh, without uh, y'all kind of coming and checking things out, I wouldn't be able to sell it. So, that's something that keeps me in the game and keeps me playing. So, thank you, you know, once again for that. Second, obviously, right here, it's gonna have the subscribe button. Make sure you click on that. I'm always producing uh, new videos with some new markers that I'm selling, and also maybe something that I've done or something I've picked up that you may have not seen in, in a while, things like that. There's always all kinds of things I find. All right, so also the other thing, comment down below. Tell me anything that you like about the channel, what you don't like, uh, any feedback for me, maybe I missed uh, misspoke on something, things like that, just let me know. Um, but for that, obviously one of the big things is, you know, our, our uh, sport needs to grow. So get out there, educate some folks on maybe how to work on their guns or educate them how to play the game a little bit better. But the big thing is get out there and play some paintball. So again, thank you guys so much and have a great week.